Hey and welcome back this is Jeremy and today we're going to be finishing up our exercise slash project uh, that we've been doing just to kind of recap or recover the topics that we've already talked about. This one is not going to be any much longer than any ones we've typed up so far but it's going to be a little more I guess involved I don't know. So let's go ahead and let's jump into it and let's get going. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make a new Java project and we're going to call this the word game why not I remember doing this one in college so I figured we'd do this one now so we'll hit finish whoops why am I messing up already finish there we go all right so in the world game one we're going to create a new class and again, I'm just gonna call it word game because I'm lazy I finish all right so we need to put pull in our main method or I'll pull it in but type it out public static void main string args okay now we're going to be taking in user input so we need to import the java.util.scanner class as let's go ahead and we're going to um, we're going to need the following variables we're going to need I think seven variables so we're going to need uh, a name variable. We're going to need a age variable. We're going to need a city variable. Um, uh, college, why not? College, profession, uh, animal, and we'll call it pet name. Not pat, pet. <laughs> All right, so you're probably looking at so well, why did he why did he forget to declare what they were? Well, I just figured I'd give you guys a cha quick second to figure out what you want these to be. You know, strings, doubles, and whatever. And I'll give you a I don't know maybe five seconds. I'll, I'll go ahead and pause right here and give you a chance to type yours out and see what I come up with. All right, and I'm this is what I came up with. You know, string for name and for age because you know we, we'll just use whole numbers for ages for age. Sorry. Uh, string for the rest, babe. so that's really about it. Then we need to make a a scanner variable. Oops, new scanner system dot n. All right, that looks good. All right, so we got everything we need. Now we start asking simple questions, like what we said before. So system dot out dot print. Uh oh. Starting to bog it down a little bit. All right, so what is your name? Yeah, question mark, I guess. So we got to go name. So when the user put enters in their name, we're going to get it from the keyboard and put it into the name variable. So keyboard dot uh, next line. And we got system dot out dot print line again I'm gonna say uh, what is your your age okay so we've got age equals KB again just like with name and just like all the other ones we're gonna keep whatever the user puts in we're gonna get from the from the keyboard and, and assign it to the proper variable so this is next int, I believe. Yeah, next int. And I'm gonna make this a little bit quicker. Let's see. I'm just going to copy this. Because I know the rest are all gonna be next line anyways. So this one, so we're gonna change this from uh, what is your city to um, what city do you live in? Change this variable to city. The next one is college. Um, so what? Let's see. What college did you attend? Okay. Change this to college. Then we have what's profession? What is your profession? Oh, there you go. That makes sense. Oops. 
P-R-O-F-A-S. Oops, almost brown professor. That's not right. And then we have animal and pet name. So what is, well, uh, what kind of animal do you own? We call this animal. And then our last one is, what is your name? What is your pet's name? Why do I keep typing pets? Oh, that's weird. Alright. Okay, so now, whoops, now that we have all this, now we're going to build this um, longer string. It's called uh, uh, a new line. It's uh, it's out there and it happens right after this int right here. That's why we have this where it pop it. It tried to ask this question, it skipped it, and went on to the next question. So what we need to do right here, I'm gonna put a comment. This will consume the remaining uh, new line, which is fine. No big deal. So, and all it is, is just a simple, uh, you could do, yeah, what is it, um, kb dot, kb dot, uh, this next line, I believe, is what it is. Let's try that. Next line. So, that should work just fine. Okay, so we're going to rerun this just to make sure. So, uh, what's your name? Jeremy. Age. City that you live in. I'm going to put in, well that college this one profession that do you own animal what animal do you own uh, I don't but I'm gonna say cat it's easy name uh, smoky yeah there was, was, was okay so far all that looks good all right so let's continue on with our sentence we have going on here so um, let me see I did have it See, there was was a person that lived. Okay, and then we could say at the. Oops, we need a plus here. This is to can can need all this together, so it works just fine. Um, so the, the age of call the age variable. Um, put a comma. Then we're going to call the name variable. Oops. If I can type it, name. <laughs> All right. Uh, went to. Went to. Went to. College. At. And we'll call our. Um, what did we call that variable? College, yeah. College. So far, that looks fine. Yeah. No, I don't think we don't need another plus there. Actually, I'm going to drop this down here. Just so it lines up. Whoops. Where does that tab come from? That's weird. Okay. All right. So then we got that. Um, college to be period. And then... Plus, let's see our name again. Now, you don't have to put spaces around it. I do. I just think it's easier to read myself. But, who knows. Graduated and went to work as a... Then we're going to call our profession variable. Which I think, yeah, we call it profession. Profession... Actually, again, I'm going to put this on the bottom line. Okay. Say then. Oops, not the. Then. Let's see. Adopt. Da, 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 name. Adopted. 
right? AD, AD, not AB, AD adopted A or an animal. We're almost done. A N I N. Animal. And let's put that in the bottom line as well. Animal. Let's see. And. Whoops. And let's see. Named. So here we're going to use the pet name. Pet name. Both lived happily ever after. That looks fine to me. All right, so everything looks good. I'll see no errors. So we're gonna run this and see what kind of cool little story we're gonna have. So let's make up a name. We'll make up, uh, let's see, David. David is age 23, why not? City he lives in is uh, say L.A. What college did he uh, attend to? Uh, let's see, L.A. U N I. Sure. Uh, what is profession he did? He became a broadcaster. What kind of animal did he get? He got a tiger. No, he got a liger. He has a baseball liger. And the pet's name is I don't know. Fun. No. Uh, what would be a cool liger name? We'll call it Thaddeus. That just sounds, yeah, Thaddeus. I don't know, something like that. All right, so here we go. There once was a person named David who lived in L.A. At the age of 23, David went to college at L.A. UNI. David graduated and went to work as a broadcaster. Then David adopted a liger named Thaddeus. They both lived happily the ever after. <laughs> so... Give you a little story. Actually, we didn't really need this new line here. I'm not sure why I put that in there. They would just kind of spur the moment. No, don't really say that. Um, so that kind of concludes everything that we've learned and covered throughout everything. Next, we'll be jumping into, I believe, condi conditional statements, like if statements. So, like, if it's cold outside, should I wear a coat or not? You know, stuff like that. So it won't be too hard. Um, and so until then, I'll see you guys later. You guys have a great day. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe. Until then, we'll see you later.